Hey, Pokemon trainers, welcome back. Gonna do another game uh, on Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying watching the videos. I've been enjoying making them. I've been having a ton of fun playing. Uh, we got our big two win streak going right now. Just got uh, a few coins in the uh, in the coffers, and we're ready to go again. I think I'm gonna stick with Leaf Charge. I just did two Leaf Charge uh, videos, but um, we're gonna stick with Leaf Charge for a little bit so I can get uh, my bearings back under me. Um, and Leaf Charge is the one that I remember the best, so let's go that go with that. Um, I think we're gonna jump into Imperial Command here in a little bit, but uh, for now, let's do some Leaf Charge and uh, and keep feeling out the uh, the the meta, if you will. Of, uh, of what people are using uh, a lot of people are I think using those brand new decks that just came out which is okay uh, we're gonna grab one of those eventually but I just want to see sort of how they operate and uh, sort of how they uh, how my opponents are playing them and uh, and which one might fit our play style the best um, so it looks like we're going against Garchomp oh man these Garchomp decks used to eat me alive uh, before this thing came out let's go for tails lost hopefully we can go second please go second i really don't like these garchomp decks these garchomp decks are tough to play against but it looks like we're going first which does not really matter because we do have uh or we do uh we do have our metric in hand so unfortunately we're not going to be able to put him on the active spot right away but we will be able to put furfru out there um, so let's go ahead and do that. We got a uh, an overload of lanterns. Um, so hopefully we can get some chin chows to get those down on the board. We do have our manectric, but unfortunately we're going to need an electric to uh, to get that going. So we'll just see how things go. Uh, we do have a Guzma, which might be useful for us. I don't think it will be here in the beginning of the game, but uh, it might be something for us to to discard at a at a later moment. So let's uh, let's get some energy on our furfru. And what do we do? John, until you have five cards. So we need to get our uh, hand reduced uh, a little bit uh, in order for Furfru to be to be fruitful for us. Um, but uh, Spear Tomb shouldn't be too much of a problem. We don't have to worry about a lot of uh, attacks. That Terrify can be really annoying, but, uh, but I think we can get through it. Um, our opponent is going to be throwing down Howl. <clears throat> Unfortunately, our opponent did not let us uh, go second. So, Manectric will be remaining in our hand. Uh, okay, so it looks like our opponent is going for the draw instead of the Terrify, which is okay by me. Uh, How's not going to really help us out here uh, right now, but I think we're going to play it anyways because Return, we're just not going to get anything off of Return. Um, uh, we'll get one card off. Well, no, not after How, uh, unless we can get a chance. Actually, let's draw first. Let's draw first. Always draw first, I guess is the rule isn't it or something i don't know all right so let's get trico out that's fine uh we'll throw down our nest ball and we'll grab a let's look through our deck real quick just to see who's living in there still all right not bad not bad so let's um let's grab i think i want to grab our um electrike just to get our manectric on the board or maybe i want to grab that chin chow I don't know, it's between Chin Chow and Electric, and I think I'm gonna go for Electric. No, I'm gonna go for Chin Chow. Let's go for Chin Chow. Lantern uh, we found in the past was quite useful um, for us. So let's put down our Chin Chow. Uh, we'll put an energy on Chin Chow since we only have electric energies, and that's fine, but we're not gonna get any draws off of Return. And that's okay because we can just uh, we can just throw down a a little attack on Spear Tomb, and that's okay for now. So hopefully we can get our lantern going. Um, maybe Guzma might help us here in, in a few moments once our opponent gets another Pokemon out on the board. Um, but it looks like our opponent has a really full hand of cards and not much to do with them. Big Malasada, that's okay. Get rid of that. Twenty damage. Okay, Cynthia, that's good for us right now because we don't have to worry about uh, Cynthia and Garchomp being uh, combined here. And it looks like my opponent just uh, threw down his whole hand and we have, we're we going to have to contend with some Ascension right now. So, uh, so it's going to be fun. So let's hope that we can get our Lantern charged up enough or that our Manectric, well, we don't even have a chance to get a Manectric. We've committed to our, our Lanterns. 
So it looks like Cynthia is going to go out back into the hand. And that's okay. All right, another electric energy. We can put that on Chin Chow. Fine. Actually, Lantern. And what I think I want to do here is... Not Guzma. No, we don't have enough of that. Let's Howl and see what we can draw. Okay. That's not bad. And we do have Lily. Just in case we need some draw. So this is looking okay. I don't think I want to put two Tricos on the board because I want to leave... Well... I don't want to put two Tricos on a board. We're, we're, we're going to wait for that. Unless I... Well... If I put them on there, I will be able to draw one off of return. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll get one draw off return, and that'll be okay. Yeah. Okay. So we can get a leaf energy from that. That's okay. Um. We just need we just need our uh our evolution Pokemon. We just need our Obama Snow. We need our uh, Grove Oil. We need our Sceptile. Uh, we have our Manectric in hand. We have two Fat Lanterns in hand. Um, Lily is not going to be much help. Guzma's not going to be much help. They might be help uh, with an uh, an Ultra Ball. Um, actually, Guzma might be help more helpful now, or even Tate and Liza. Because that's going to be able to get my lantern in. And I think I'm going to do that. 70. And we should be able to take out that Rayolu or that Young Goose. We unfortunately cannot take out Grabite. Or Gabite. Sorry, Gabite. So let me... Um, I think I'm going to Guzma for Riolu. Does this let me choose... Yes. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, let's Guzma Riolu out and Lantern out. Let's throw another energy onto Lantern. Uh, and we're not going to discharge energy this time because we have uh, enough to kill him. Uh, let's check our weaknesses. No resistances. Nope. And we'll be able to take out Riolu quite easily right there and not have to worry about a uh, an incoming... Uh, what's his name? I don't even remember what his name is. That's pretty bad because he's on... Uh, he's on Super Smash Brothers. Huh! Anyways, so now we have to uh, deal with our Gabite and we're going to have to deal with some Ascension right now. But I think having Lantern in right now is going to be uh, really helpful for us because that gives us 140 damage on our Lantern if we discharge those two electric energies. So I don't think we'll have to worry about Garchomp too, too much uh, right now. Um, so I think we're in a pretty good uh, we're in a pretty good spot right here unless he decides to do his Slash, which even then it's not going to be that bad because it's not going to be able to kill him. Our, our lantern he is going to go for the ascension which we kind of expected and 150 that gives us 140 damage um let's put our grove oil in and i think i want to taint liza this time or do i want a lily lily will give us three and this will give us five new cards hmm I do want a leaf energy for that Grove Oil. But let's do this. Let's do this and then let's Lily so we can hold on to our Tate and Liza. Ugh. Ugh. That's really not good. Okay. That's okay. Um. That's fine. Let's discharge our, our electric energy and let's do a big 140 on our, our Garchomp and get him ready to go down. Uh, Royal Blades is going to be a pain. Quick Dive is going to be a pain. Uh, but but that's just something we're going to have to deal with. We have enough We have enough on the board to where we can uh, we can fight back. And we have our Lady and we have our Tate and Liza. Um, so it's not too, too bad. I think this Garchomp's not going to be too big of a problem. It looks like my opponent has like uh, 50 Hows in his hand. 
that's okay. Every every card he has is a how. So you can just continuously draw forever. But yeah, I think I think our uh, I think our board position looks pretty good. I would rather not have two Tricos on the board or a Trico and a Groboil. Um, but that's something we're gonna have to deal with. A Furfru, I think we could get rid of, um, and we do. We are looking for that Obama Snow pretty, uh, pretty heavily right now. Uh, Gumshoe, I don't think it's gonna be too big of a problem. We do expect to lose our Lantern right now, um, but that's okay. That's okay. We can't retreat him out anyways. Oh, it didn't. Oh. Well, I guess I need to pay more attention. So we don't lose our lantern, which is pretty good. So we'll put that on there. Um, taint and Liza. We could Taint and Liza to not draw, but we could Taint and Liza to switch out and put our Manectric in and take out that Garchomp, and I think that's what we're going to do. Um, I'd really rather... Nah, we don't even need to do Lady. We can wait for Lady for next turn. So let's go ahead and do this. Bang. 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 And we'll double charge on our Manectric, which is a weird uh, card here. Uh, looks like it's not doing what we want it to do. But we'll just go for a double charge. Bang. And we'll get rid of Garchomp, just like that. Boom. Garchomp. Gone. Goodbye. And Oranguru. All right. Looking good. I'm um, really happy to be able to take out that Garchomp. I think our opponent thought he had us with that uh, with our Lantern, not even able, being able to uh, to retreat. But, uh, but look, things are looking good. Looking really good. After we play Lady, we'll be able to accelerate a bit more energy onto the board. Get our Sceptile going. Get our Snover going. Um, yeah. Looking good. I'm happy with our with our board position right now. Okay. Identify. And there we go. Taking out the big 100. And that is okay. Um, let's get Lady... Yeah, let's do Lady. Dang. And then we'll do a couple of these, a couple of these. Good. And then I think I'm going to... Let's put an energy onto Sceptile because we need it. And then let's put two more energies onto Lantern just in case we need it. So let's double charge this. And I know Lan our, our Lantern is in, a, is in pretty bad shape. But I'm okay with that because all we need is for him to do one big attack uh, to take out something really big. Yeah, I'm happy with this right now. What does Identify do? Oh, okay. So we have tons of Pokemon in our hand, so we'll be expecting to take 100 damage from that uh, forever. And that's okay. He's taking back Cynthia and Kukui. Which is okay. Looker. Okay, we knew Manectric was going down and we fully expected that. And that's okay because Manectric um, was able to, uh, to charge out and do what he needed to do uh, here. So let us put out... So we have a hundred and well we have 60 to take from him I think this lantern will be pretty safe actually you know what let's put Sceptile in let's just put Sceptile in and we'll just uh, we'll just start sweeping with him we'll just sweep the floor I do want to get my orange guru in and that's fine um, let's put another energy on the board just because we can Put that there, and then we'll just start powerful storming down everything, and uh, and see how much of this deck we can work through uh, with this Sceptile. Hopefully, we can grab another Grove Oil, and um, and get our other Trico going, uh, so we can have two Sceptiles, and then we'll only lose that one energy off of him. And it looks like this Lantern is going to be very helpful for us to keep uh, to keep energy on the board. So I think we're looking pretty good right now. Another ga uh, Gibble. Gibble. I think that's how he says his name on the show. Gibble. I'm not sure. I don't think that's true. 
All right, opponent, let's see what you got for this gumshoe. We knew we were going to take another 100 damage. That's okay. We're not losing any energy off the board as long as that lantern's out there. Um, let's throw another energy on... Well, let's throw one on to Snover. That's fine. And then we'll just Powerful Storm this other one down. And we'll just keep keep adding energy onto our board uh, and see how things go. So it's looking good. I think we're in a and we're in a really, really, really good spot right now. Uh, we don't have to worry about that Gibble. Uh, we don't have to worry about that Riolu. Um, and we really don't have to worry about this Soul Rock. This Terrify is going to be a little bit problematic, but uh, but I think that's okay. Oh, there's our Obama Snow. So that's really good. So we wanted that up there. So let's get Obama Snow in there. And we took the victory. All right. So uh, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I was really happy with that game. I think we played well, and our uh, and our opponent played well, too. Uh, it's just we had the, the advantage. I mean, this deck is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, tons of wins off of this thing. So uh, I highly encourage you to go out and pick up this, uh, this Lift Charge deck uh, because it's absolutely amazing, and you can win lots and lots of coins from it. Bang. Just like that. 50 more coins. All right, I think uh, coming up real soon right now, we're going to um, pick a, another deck to buy. Uh, it's going to be one of the brand new ones that just came out. Um, and then we'll be able to start uh, start putting that one to work, getting some wins. But, uh, but for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making it. Um, and I will see you all in the next one.